Let me tell you, Kirby, I'm a little disappointed in this place. It looked much better in the brochure. Well, what's happened is this whole process, what we used to call agriculture, has changed to agribusiness. And the whole concept of animal husbandry has been uh, replaced with more of a, almost a manufacturing attitude. But the whole idea is to get that animal from birth into the box as quickly as possible. How did you get involved with rescuing farm animals? I was actually 16 when I literally woke up one day growing up in Madison, Wisconsin yeah. and said, well, wait a minute, if I love animals, why am I eating them? It was real simple. I didn't realize that farmed animals were treated so badly. I just knew that it didn't seem right to love animals and eat them. Nearly 100,000 cows are processed, a tidy little word for slaughtered, each and every day. That's enough beef to fill a huge football stadium. Think about that the next time you see a McDonald's sign that brags billions and billions served. A cow doesn't have to be healthy to be used as a food source, and they pump them full of antibiotics and hormones in order to make them bigger, make them grow. Today, the modern slaughter plant can process four or 5,000 or even more head of animals every day. They can use a cow for food as long as they can basically drag it off the truck. Yeah, it's amazing that in this day and age, an animal is literally dragged to her death. How do they get to that point? How has how an animal yeah, become really good, so sick? That's, yeah, and, that's a good question. And, and that's part of the problem, too, is that they're so mistreated on the factory farms. In the case of cows, and they're the number one animals that we see that become downers, they are forced to produce 10 times more milk than they would in nature. They are literally milk-producing machines. When anything's killed, it has fear, and that adrenaline goes into the tissues and that fear of death goes into tissue. Is it a spiritual thing or like a chemical thing with the brain like you were talking about? It's both. Do these animals feel pain? Oh, sure. They're just paralyzed. They can feel pain. When consumers learn about these issues, they're choosing to go vegetarian or vegan is on the rise, you know, no animal products at all, or they're just simply choosing to consume products that are not raised so cruelly. Mm -hmm. And of course, there are many happy endings here at Animal Acres. Yeah. These animals do survive these cruel conditions and they can come here and, and have you know hope and love and joy for the first time in their lives. And then they in turn teach other people to look at them as animals with the hope that maybe if people see that a turkey is a lot more like a dog, um, yeah. that maybe they won't eat them.